All right, so you guys were filling out a roster sheet, looking up players that looks something like this. Here's the example uh, with the title, one, two, three, four, five, six columns. These ones going down are columns, ones going across are rows, and each one of these boxes within that are called cells. So you're gonna create that. You won't actually create the A, B, C, D, E, F. That's just telling you what column it is and one two two three all the way down is telling you what row so you need to start typing this stuff out I would leave a row up there because you need a header you know for some reason if you didn't have a row up there and you started putting first name last name uni uniform number um, what was the last one oh wait oh I got them all last first name last name position, height, weight, and uniform number. Right. So, if you didn't have that in there and you started off that way, all you do is just click on that one row on the number one and you insert above. And click and drag or click hold shift and click the last cell that you want to uh, merge and make a header. And right here, this tool says merge cells. We're going to do that, and it's just going to make one large cell and combine all those six cells into one. But well, we want to also center align this thing. And this little arrow here is an alignment tool, and that's the align center inside the cell. So Birmingham Bulldogs. I don't know what they are, but right there it's centered vertically and horizontally it's not the top it's not the bottom it's in the middle it's not left or right it's in the middle alright so once you have that you can see already I put this bold I put all these centered already I would do that for definitely your titles is have them all bold and centered and both vertically and horizontally centered I hope you can't hear my dog drinking water and eating but she is anyways so you need to start putting that information in there Player's name, last first name Charles Barkley, and a position. And now it's just data entry. All right. So you can see I kind of did it. Let's say this cell is too far over. You can see how I did to move that cell. You just got to get that double arrow and move it a little bit wider. Same with these top cells. That's how you adjust the size of it. There's other ways too, but that's what I like to do. All right. So. Instead of doing one, two, three, and all the way down, you don't have to number them and allow that to be an option, but I wanted to show you something kind of cool. So you got one. Instead of putting two and putting the numbers all the way down, you can actually do a little formula, which we'll do more of it later. And we could do a sum formula, equals sum, and then we're going to do uh, cell in, in um, parentheses. It wants, to, it wants the first value. What's the first value? Value one. We want actually value one to be A3, which is anything inside this cell A3, it's gonna it's gonna grab that information. And I want to do plus one. So we're anything A3 plus one, it's gonna add up into this cell right below it. So I'm gonna enter, and you can see that A3, which is this cell plus one, is two. Well, this is the cool part. You can just see that little box, blue box there. You can just slide down and look at number. 25 at row 27 if you click on it it's not a number it's a 26 which is this cell right above it plus one so I made the recalculation by just clicking and dragging and copying that formula from cell each cell at a time and just going plus one eight a three plus one a four plus one it just it just added that all the way down I'm um, for the sake of just finishing this up I'm going to copy and paste my first two entries for my players. I do not want you to do that. I want you to put the information in. All right. So once all the information is and you have all your players, now you know how big your table is. You want to click in the very top left corner, hold the shift key down, and click the very bottom right corner, and that will select everything in between. Now you click right here for borders, and it gives you a selection gives you how thick you want it to be weighted, the color, all that stuff. So maybe you wanted a, 
a dash all the way around or a thicker line. Let's do that line. Let's do around all cells. And there you go. There's your alignment. Uh, ooh, I messed up. I, since I added an extra column there, it's not merging with that left uh, column. So I got to hold shift and select both that column or that cell and this cell and merge it again so it's actually in this right above the middle of this whole table and that is it hopefully that'll get you going and, and help you start to learn Google Sheets